They're my people, they're my family, they're my flock, if you will. They're the people I'm called to serve and to guide and in some way to protect, and they've been assaulted. The motivation for the writing of this letter was the event on August 3rd of 2019 in our Diocese of El Paso when a young man, 21 years old, chose to drive from the Dallas area all the way to El Paso in order to kill people of Mexican origin and frankly, immigrants with brown skin. And uh, he went to a Walmart and used his assault weapon to shoot as many as he could in the time that he had. He left a manifesto expressing the reasons for this action and he says in this document that this was his purpose. He espoused a white supremacist ideology. This event was in some ways the tip of an iceberg that consists of a growing ideology that either is blatantly racist in their attitudes, especially towards people of Latino origin, or is sympathetic in a certain way, accommodating to these ideologies that speaks a rhetoric that makes it seem acceptable to exclude a whole group of people, immigrants, and more broadly, people of Hispanic origin, simply because of their origin. This we cannot simply put under the carpet. We have to deal with it because it's not going away.